Welcome, welcome, everyone. If there's something you should know about me, it's the fact that I'm actually a Texan. Uh, so today, to honor that, oh my word, what is this padding? Today, to honor that, we're going to be doing a fast revolt to Texas as Mexico. Uh, now, you have seen Lionheart do this if you watch his videos, uh, but actually we're going to do a, do a different strategy from him. His strategy with it is to uh, is to basically use the free imp upgrades for infantry. So he builds a bunch of infantry and gets their free Imperial Age upgrades with them. Uh, but what we're going to go for is actually the Marines. Because those other Imperial upgrades, while they're free, they take like 400% longer to research. Which is just way too long. Way longer uh, than we want it to be. But you can use the send the Texian Marines card, and this will enable uh, the basically Imperial Age uh, Marines. So you'll be able to call out 16 of them because going to Texas actually enables. Uh, I think it's called conscription. It's basically the big bigger one of this. So you'll be able to call 16 from your town center or four or whatever, and then we'll be able to call 16 using the. Alamo card, which not only makes it so that buildings uh, will spawn marines when they get destroyed, but it also ships 16 itself. So it's a very, very good card for this. So we're essentially, we're going to, hopefully around 13 minutes, uh, we're hoping to age up to, or uh, get to age 4 at around uh, 11 minutes, and then we're going to revolt from there about 12 minutes and then we're going to ship those two cards at about 13 and end up with uh hopefully 32 around 30 vils is the hope uh and around 32 imperial age marines because those villagers will turn into turn into h4 state militia and those marines obviously are just marines so it's a very strong combo uh hopefully we can either ship like the two heavy cannons or spanish sympathizers renegade apache any of those uh will be good to get here so we'll figure that all out i actually i mess this up i usually like to go trade posts and then build the house uh but this is okay going house first uh we're not in a too big a rush for cards Drop this in base. Okay, I got that. Uh, let's set this to this. Okay, then we're gonna send the cheaper revolts card. It's very important here. Uh, let's actually go herd this here. And we're gonna age up with... We can choose any of these age up, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, because eventually it can turn into a nice little boom. Let's actually... Let's get a bunch of people here on wood. I wanna grab a market. So let's get a good many people here on wood. You can get coin. This works best versus uh, sieves such as Dutch or British, who usually will just boom. This is really good against boomy or turtley sieves. Uh, against Spain, it's going to be a little bit tough due to the Piroshiki. But he is not Piroshiki. Okay. So no Piroshiki rush. So this is actually really good for us. If he's going to... I guess he'll FF. Which, I guess that'll probably be, what, 10 minutes? He might start pushing about then. If we can get up our fortified... Well, I already heard that a lot. Uh, if we can get around our fortified... Okay, we don't actually need any more on wood then. We can get on there. Just grab hunting dogs. We'll ship 700 wood. We're going to be doing the age 2 revolt to, the, like, the quick age 4 revolt using that, that, uh, uh, sorry, quick fast fortress using that age 2 revolt uh, that gives you basically, kind of like sends you up to age 3 but you can't train settlers. That's the plan at least. Okay, he is aged up a little bit before us. Uh, let's get up to there. Let's ship 5. And then we'll get on here. We're going to drop this into a saloon because that will give us a nice uh, trickle of coin. So we are overpopped. I'm actually going to send this first. I made the mistake. We got to send that first. 
And also, let's get a bunch here on the coin. Seven or wood is more important there. And then we'll mass a bunch of those on the coin. We'll use that seven or wood for houses, uh, upgrades, whatever we need. This will be a nice treasure here, 90 coin. Grab that, get you on there. Let's get you on there, get you on there. So that seminar wood should come in here pretty soon. Let's actually, yeah, let's keep that there. Cows on there. This, uh, it's really nice. One thing is if you get on a place with a lot of cows, make sure uh, to have those there. So as you can see, I'm building up a lot of food, but I really don't need to. I really need coin here. Do we go five vills first? Yeah, let's go five vills. Drop a house. We're gonna need. Get on there. We will be able to revolt here soon. So this is actually this is pretty good. This revolt due to the upgrades we got is only gonna be 280. Heard that more. Forgot you could hold Alt to do that. So this still will come out here. I'm not the greatest. There are people who do this, like FI, much better than me. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to coin. But this is me. Okay, so we get seven vills with the revolt up. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's kill this. this. I'm actually going to drop this just to boost it a little bit. We can't uh, build any vills. We need to get some wood here. Let's grab this, grab this. I'm going to grab this as well. So the shipment we want here is the Advanced Frontier Defense. Uh, that'll ship three block outposts. Um, ship three outpost things and give us some nice... Uh, and it'll upgrade them. It'll ship basically three outposts and upgrade them to the H3 version. So to return is a thousand food, a thousand wood, a thousand coin. This won't be my fastest one so far. Let's scout forward some here. Not gonna be my fastest revolt so far, but it won't be too bad. We got 31 bills. That's actually pretty good. Better than normal. We could go with the two culverins. I think actually I'll go two coals. We'll wall here. And get two coals. Okay, well, we don't need y'all there anymore then. Wow, that's disappointing. Why are you walking that way? Okay, yeah, so we'll send the two coals. Because those will counter his two falcs really nicely. want a lot of people. I'm gonna build a wall. I like walls. And let's get this. I just really want to get this revolt again. So with these two coals, basically what we're gonna be doing is those will be to beat any Falxy sins, because that's really the only thing that could pressure us here. Uh, I could totally just sell... I could totally just sell, like, food and buy wood. But it's actually okay to have a little bit extra wood and coin, or food and coin. Because we do know, need those for some upgrades. I guess he's gonna revolt- he's gonna revolt himself, isn't he? Most likely. He doesn't have the boom upgrades, though. So I'm not sure. Okay. We're gonna start returning. And we actually are going to need 800 wood again. Okay. Expos. We're going to need uh, 800 wood to revolt to Texas, so let's get... Let's be getting that wood. Okay, that's Pikes. I think upon aging up, if we have a lot of food and wood, we'll probably grab... Um... Might grab like the Spanish sympathizers or something. So let's actually. I don't want this many on coin. I think that's enough on wood. I think we're good here on wood. And 
and yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we're ready. Do, or do we just send the Apaches? We could probably just, with the Coles and the Apaches, we might could just hit and run forever. No worry about Cav then. See? Yeah, I think I think we might send the Apaches, and that's it. You, if you really want to sustain, I'm not plan planning on going for like the sustained revolt. This is hopefully we're just gonna win, and that'll be it. Uh, so that's why. Uh, I don't plan on sending, like, factories or anything. Okay, that's actually enough. Oh, no, 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 I forgot. We're going to get the Apaches. Okay, let's get y'all in there. Y'all in there. So we'll go for this shipment, which will give us 14 Apaches. Perfect, we got a thousand wood then. And those will be our anti-lancers, because uh, marines are an infantry, so they will get beat by lancers. And they're not heavy infantry either, so they don't have any multipliers against cav. I just realized my mic is over here, and y'all may have been hearing nothing the whole time. If so, I apologize. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, though, if I was doing all this for nothing. Uh, let's actually set y'all up on number four hotkey. Set you up to number two. And we actually have enough wood now. So now all we want is lots of coin and food. We don't need any more wood. Uh, because we need to call out. We need to call out stuff. We can revolt, we could revolt right now, but we want to save up some stuff here. I'd like to have, so sometimes when I do that revolt, I don't do any shipments. These have set me back just a little bit, but actually I think that's okay in the end. Man, I really want another shipment though. You know what, we'll get, we'll get, uh, we'll get shipments soon. Okay, we'll hotkey all these, so we got, uh, two, three. Can we call this guy out? Let's do that. And we'll get this. And we just gotta wait for that to, we actually are just gonna wait for that to come in. And then we'll call out 16 here. So this, this card right here is what will enable the Imperial Marines for us, and then we'll call out a group of them of 16 using the conscription. That's it, right? Yeah. We can also always do four colds, two heavy cannons, whatever you need there, and then we'll send Alamo, the Alamo uh, to get some more there. So this is almost, and this is why we make sure you have the extra food saved up, because if you can't call them out right away, it is, it is rough. And booyah. Okay, is this set to coin? Okay, this is on coin, this is on coin. So it actually means we'll slowly be saving up. And these, here we go, Imperial Texian Marines. They just say Texian Marines, but they are definitely Imperial. We got the Colves. And these guys have fairly good siege. Can we shoot those? That is one down. No, no, no. These guys have good enough siege. That's some bad mi micro there for me, but these guys have enough siege that we can just waltz in through it. I'm actually not too worried about that other Falc. We're gonna be pretty safe for them. And we wanna just ship the next 16 Marines here pretty soon. Look at our score difference, 7k ahead. That's pretty, pretty fabulous. Oh, these are gonna be some- Oh, no! No! Okay, let's send these guys. These guys are good against Bills, actually. So we can snipe some there. Uh, let's ship 16 more. And these guys are just killing all of his builds, so that's fabulous. Uh, 
We killed a ton of ills there. Okay, he's going to heavy on the crossbows. So these are actually doing pretty well. I might have gone heavy cannons here, but I'm actually... I think I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with this. This is actually... Yes, this is working well. Uh, in not too long, we'll have this and the coin ready. So that'll be good. There is 16 more marines. We're at 15 minutes. I uh, definitely could have done this a little faster without shipping the two coals, but right now they are doing work for me. GG. And that's it. We got 16 more coming. And we could have shipped a another one there. We could have shipped uh, two heavy cannons, vills. And okay, so I just want to take a look at these guys real quick. These are Imperial. Uh, Lancers are king. So he actually, he couldn't have done much with Lancers because I had these. But look at these Marines. So here, we got like, you know, we had like 30 state volunteers, whatever. Age 4 state militia. And they're fine, but really here? Um... Musk. Don't. Sorry, I wanna... So let's... <laughs> ah! Yes. So, let's take a look at these guys. So, we have 46 ranged attack, and then 45 siege. This is an aged 5 unit. It has it has multipliers against cans and stuff, but what this guy does is he will be... And 360 HP. He has 360 HP, 46 ranged attack, 45 siege attack, and we had what? 24 of them? Yes. And they're not, they're not like heavy infantry either. They're actually just... <clears throat> What they are is literally just infantry. So they don't get beat by skirms. Now, skirms, a fast skirm can hit and run them uh, and all that. But usually people won't have a bunch of fast skirm ready at... What were we at? I've gotten this faster, but when were we? So I revolted here. Uh, what was this shipment? <laughs> Whatever it was. We revolted and we had a good 67 units. That's pretty good. Uh, the Colves slowed me down a little bit, like I said, but I think they were good play. So we had the Apache, we had Skirm, we had Imperial Marines. These are all age 4 or 5. Other than the Colves, these are age 4, these are age 4, these are these are age 5. And it was like instant. Like, it, I, no, it wasn't quite instant. It took a little bit. This card had to send, and then we had to send this other card. But it, it's strong. They're really, really strong. I want to look at these units killed ratio. He was going not the strongest Spanish build, but uh, definitely a Pirushiki or something would have been to really tough to deal with. But uh, if you're going against any Boomy Sibs, I've done this against Dutch, and command? it worked really, really well. Yes. He just could not handle it at all and some other things, and that was just really nice. I mean, our eco difference is crazy. Way less eco, but just a much stronger military. So we, I guess we revolted at 33 vills. And then we sent 16 of these guys, and we had these Apache. If I, if you're not scared of the Lancers, before you go, before you do the revolt, I might would grab the uh, two heavy cannons, age four. But since I was a little scared of the Lancers, that's why I grabbed the Apache. But overall, very, very fun. Very fun revolt. Very strong. Uh, go Texas it out, guys. It is... Go make it nerfed. No, I, I don't make it nerfed. The, Texas needs to be the single greatest revolt in the game. I am not biased. No bias. Uh, but, whatever. Very fun. Go try it out yourself. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I will see y'all next time.